<clears throat> hey guys, Jerry here, Balanced Community. <clears throat> I want to talk today about um, an issue we had recently. Someone contacted me and told me their Spider Silk Mark IV broke while they were rigging a long line in the park at roughly <clears throat> six and a half kilonewtons, uh, which is kind of crazy and caused me a little bit of alarm. So I ran to the lab to see if I could uh, reproduce the results. And it turns out that using gripping devices like a line grip, line grip or wafer XL or even a standard wafer or snatch or any of any gripping device on the market and using it with a polyester sheathed Dyneema webbing like the two pictured here we have Spider Silk Mark IV and Y2K uh, will cause sh total sheath failure on well under the MBS of the webbing on Spider Silk Mark IV it's as low as six kilonewtons with the wafer and on Y2K it's as low as seven kilonewtons in the tests I've done and we tried stacking multiple grips together like line grip back to back we use sliding X's between multiple and nothing really improved the grip ability to the point where I would say it's safe uh, and so I'm I'm here to tell you that when rigging with polyester sheathed Dyneema webbings, like these two in the picture, in the frame, uh, you should not put a grip on them because it can and will lead to premature breaking of your webbing. And so instead, I would recommend <coughs> using a, a low-tech webbing as your final segment for rigging on. For shorter lines, maybe that should be nylon. And for longer lines, it should be uh, polyester. But you can see here, here's a close-up of what happens when you use the grip. It will tear through the sheath of your webbing and bunch it up. Now in the lab, we don't have a lot of energy stored in the rest of the, the test sample. And so it's pretty mild when that happens. But when you're rigging at length, there's a ton of potential energy beyond the grip that when this fails, this is gonna shoot back and it's gonna cause a lot of kinetic energy right here where that exposed Dyneema is and your grip is still attached. And that kinetic energy is gonna to turn to heat and melt right through your Dyneema, causing a failure at pretty low tensions. It's very scary. Um, I'll, the rest of this video will show some of the samples that we did. Just. Heed warning, and please take precaution when rigging with these types of webbings. Here's a wafer in spider silk. Rip the sheath. All right, we got sliding X wafers. See how it goes. Oh, the rear one ripped. Interesting. All right, let's try the sliding X again. So what I think is happening here is the front one is not tilting, but the rear one is. And I believe it's the tilt. It's the mechanism of the failure. You can see the rear one cut again. See the force. Here we have wafer XL on <clears throat> the spider silk mic for There's very little tilt in the XL. I still expect the same thing to happen. Maybe a higher force. Yep. 
All right, we got stacked line grips like they do in the manual. Let's see how it does. Oh, broke at the first one. Kind of interesting. It's slipping through the back one, too. All right, let's see what happens. All right, we got sliding X line grips this time. <clears throat> Maybe that'll equalize a little better than the stacked ones. There we go. All right, we got sliding X wafer XLs. I think this will be the best one. Lift on the front. 